As I believe we're all aware, the fencing materials market has been a bit chaotic over the last year and a half. So to try to answer how we got here, where we even are, and when it might get better, I brought on Tony Thornton, who is the executive director of the American Fence Association, to talk about his latest report of the state of the industry for the fence installation industry. Now, this was a pretty long interview. It lasted a little bit over three hours. So we actually have cut it down into shorter snippets for each individual segment of the fencing industry. In today's segment, Tony goes over the ornamental fencing category, both ornamental steel and aluminum. How we got here, where we're going, and when we think it could get better. Guys, as always, if you find this content helpful or educational, go ahead and give it a like. Also, did you know that 94% of the people watching this video right now aren't subscribed? That means there's a pretty good chance that you're not subscribed. Take a quick minute and look right below this video. If that button is red, hit subscribe. And when you do, hit that notification bell so that YouTube lets you know each and every week when we have new content available. All right, with all that being said, let's dig in to this week's segment. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family's been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. Guys, we're going to move right along. We're, we're only on point three. So we're probably going to start moving through these. We're probably going to start limiting the uh, question and answer part because I'll spend the whole time there and we got a lot of good content to get to. So, And we're always available after the fact. That's right. That's absolutely right. All right, Tony. So talking about state of the industry, let's talk a little bit about ornamental iron, ornamental, steel, ornamental fencing in general, iron, yeah. iron, steel, aluminum. iron is steel, I guess, ornamental steel and ornamental aluminum. What do you, what do you have in your report? As Absolutely. Far as that? So to your point, we've gone, almost gone two hours here. I'm going to try to hit the high points, hit the, hit the bullet points, and then we'll, we'll get right through it. But uh, my peers in the industry is telling me we're still seeing a 12 to 16 week uh, delivery for most products with the ornamental and for the um, aluminum, okay, excuse me, for the steel and for the aluminum. Um, the reason for steel is, again, we're kind of down on the total pole being vehicle manufacturers and structural for buildings to be constructed, infrastructure way up on the total pole. They're getting the product, they're getting the, the necessary needs. And then us fence guys, the manufacturers that do it, you know, they're, they're, they're low on the total pole to get the product to be able to do what they need to do. So the most supplies ordered early, um, uh, are, are being supported. They're locked in. Uh, prices are changing. The, the delivery dates are changing, uh, but they they uh, they will be getting product. So basically, if you didn't lock it in, you're basically out of luck and the prices are completely unknown. Uh, mentioned about the steel market being vehicle and structural are at, the, at a high demand right now. I mean, y'all seen all the ads on vehicles that's sitting in, you know, uh, open fields waiting for a microchip or waiting for this or waiting for that. The demand on manufacturing has never slowed down. It's even more so because interest rates are cheap. And heck, you can buy a vehicle these days with zero interest. So that that's a big issue there. So the demand is up, no product, um, but prices are up as well. That's the challenge. Um, uh, expect delays when, when transport, which we're gonna talk here, here shortly. And the, the piece that I got from my peers in the industry was that the level off will hopefully happen by mid-year 2022. So we're a year away. Uh, so expect what you have right now. Expect limited delivery, extended delivery times. Expect, you know, price increases. And as things start slowing down and, and changing, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see, it, uh, see see that happening. But that's the high points. That's the big ticket pieces. And we don't need to talk about the labor and the transportation pieces. We're going to hit that completely on a different different stop uh, or a different time here. So, yeah. you know, and again, I want you guys to say, you know, understand that if you're buying from XYZ manufacturer or, or, or ABC manufacturer, you know, this guy may be delivering to you in four to six weeks. This guy may be delivering to you, you know, in 16 to 20 weeks. So that average is that 12 to 14 week time frame. And that's what yeah. I got from all of my guys that I talked to. Sure. Because, you know, I got relationships with every manufacturer out there. And by talking to them, they give me this input. So, again, this is not Tony. I'm not an economist. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm just passing on, passing on the, I'm the messenger, so to speak. Sure, sure, sure. So, 
Tony, I think I think one thing we're going to keep saying over and over is it's going to be a supply issue, yep. right? So whether we're talking about, we've already talked about vinyl, we've already talked about wood. You know, a lot of this is going to come down to, to a supply issue, whether it is the raw material supply, the labor supply, it's going to come down to a supply issue. You know, one one thing that's kind of wild to me is that in the ornamental market is is kind of, this is kind of unique to the ornamental market is they're pricing it as of delivery, right? Yes. So they'll say, this is today's price, but we're 12 weeks out. We'll let you know what the price is when it ships. Exactly. That's pretty wild. Yes. And you're going to see the same thing in uh, large shipments of chain link and uh, tubing that we're going to talk about here momentarily. Yeah. That's happening in that particular market as well. Yeah. Yeah. It, the or it seemed just one guy's perspective. It seemed to start in the ornamental. You know, it seemed to start there where they're like, hey, it's whatever it is, a million dollars a panel right now. But in 12 weeks, it might be two million. I don't know. I'll let you know. Exactly. Yeah, and, if you, and you have your choice of saying, hey, I'll take the order or I don't. Well, that's the thing is because they're in the position of saying, I've got 100 guys that want this. If, yep. if you don't want it, I'll call the next guy on the list and I'll ship it to him and he'll thank me for it. Yep. Yeah. So it's it's kind of that type of situation at the moment, unfortunately, unfortunately for the contractors. Yeah, unfortunately for us. Yep. One thing I've been seeing just on the contractor side ordering is that the commons or, or the more commons, the – four foot flat top three rail for us. That's kind of our main thing we order. Yeah. That's, that's going to be like your four to six week, you know, yep. but we just had a project that's a five foot two rail, you know, to meet some spec in its municipal grade and all this other, it was a very specific specification. That was something like 16 weeks to get it in. So to your point, out of the norm, out of the yeah. norm right? Yeah. yeah. But, but that illustrates your point of, you know, you've got to average those two. You know, I can get one in four weeks. I can get one in 16 weeks. So when you're talking about lead times, you're talking about the average between custom orders, stock orders. Different you know, manufacturers. Order. Right, right. That, that's a good point, too, that, you know, one manufacturer might just be cranking out four foot smooth top and they're doing it very efficiently. And another manufacturer might be focusing on something entirely different. Yep. You know, their manufacturing process might be different altogether. Um, but yeah, so orna ornamental right now is crazy. What I'm seeing is it seems like shortages in one in one type of fence push the market into another type of fence. And really what it's doing is it's pushing this problem kind of from one sector to another to another, whether it's vinyl that pushes it into wood or yeah. or or an ornamental ornamental shortage or ornamental problems that push into chain link. It seems like these are all just going round robin. Yeah. Well, good deal, Tony. So ornamental. So, so basically again, supply issue, right? And so this bears discussion too. It, we talked about this a little bit ago in vinyl that it's also going to be, you know, black's going to be your primary color. You know, you can get any, you know, Henry Ford, you can get any color you want as long as it's black. Um, so if you want bronze, either is not happening or, you know, you can count on it being an incredible lead time right now. Well, you know, depending on the manufacturer, I guess. I think also uh, depends on the manufacturer. And we're talking about ornamental as a whole, which is both steel and aluminum. Yeah. Because yeah. I think a lot of us see uh, uh, more color focused products in the aluminum market than we do in the steel market. So, again, yeah. depending on you know, those, those lineups of how that, 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 but again, if it's a custom color, forget it, you know, maybe by next, by, maybe by the middle of next year, you know? Yeah. So just know what have, I said this back when the pandemic hit, you better have a good understanding with your manufacturer, your supplier, and you better have a good, good open communication because if you're not, then you're going to get way behind. And that's what's happened to a lot of our contractors. Agreed. Yeah. They're getting stuck. They really yep. are. Yep. So it sounds like the highlights for ornamental are, again, like I said, supply issue and look for it to come somewhat back to normal or the new normal in about a year, about 12 months. Exactly. And hopefully and pray it happens before then. Right. That's projections of, you know, my peers in the industry saying that that's kind of where she's going to be. Well, and, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, understand nobody's got the crystal ball. Nope. Nobody, nobody knows, you know, what's coming down the railroad tracks six months from now. Nope. You know, so – as of as of June of 2021, that's kind of the industry's thought 
is Absolutely. about 12 months. We've got about 12 months left of recovery. Yep. Very good. Very good. Yep. Tony, as always, thank you, sir, for your industry update for ornamental fencing. Yep. Now, guys, as I said in the beginning, this is a multi-part series. We took about a three-hour live interview and cut it into separate snippets and categories for different styles of fence. If you haven't watched the other videos, be sure to watch them now. And also, if you found this content helpful or educational, please consider giving a like. It really helps our channel, and it's absolutely free on your end. But for now, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. And we'll see you next time.